it's a half demon power, it's a spell, it's a time portal shifting thing. I think the one thing with this genre is the idea of being able to experiment. The most fun to write, I actually find the more challenging ones the most fun to write. So, so those are the ones who are probably least like me. Eve, my half-demon witch slash angel, uh, is definitely a, a lot of fun because we have the least in common. Clay is also lots of fun to write from his point of view because he has such a different outlook on the world. I always have a tough time with the cast the characters game because for me I see the characters a certain way and no actor ever quite matches so I know that for Clay they have readers have suggested everyone from Matthew McConaughey to Brad Pitt to and I'm gonna forget the name but the actor on Lost who plays Sawyer. Power. I often say that I, th I think being a werewolf would be the most exciting. The idea of experiencing life in a different form would just be amazing. However, it comes with so many drawbacks that I think if I was being really practical, I'd say spellcaster. They can do magic, but there aren't a lot of downsides to it. Things have definitely changed since my first book was published. When Bitten came out in 2001, I know that my uh, publishers in various places really didn't know how to market it. If you look at my North American version, it's a beautiful artistic picture of a reclining woman in a negligee that definitely does not scream werewolf. Then a couple of years later, there had been a bunch of us who'd started at the same time, uh, myself, Charlene Harris, Jim Butcher, were all writing these books that were combining mystery, action, fantasy, romance, and they suddenly started uh, taking, taking off. So by the time I was up to my third book, uh, things were really going much better, but it was still a very small market. And then Twilight and True Blood hit, and suddenly it's vampires are very hot, and everything that goes along with them is equally hot. These straight crime novels are definitely different. Uh, for example, I was finishing off the first one, Exit Strategy, and I had to blow up a house. So I said to my husband, okay, I need to blow up a house. How can I do it? And he said, is this the paranormal series or the crime series? I said, it's the crime. I said, well, that makes it a lot tougher. I actually had to go and research how would you blow up a house. I can't say it's, it's a half demon power, it's a spell, it's a time portal shifting thing. I'm always somewhat relieved to go back to the other world where I get to make everything up. I think the one thing with this genre is the idea of being able to experiment, being able to do whatever comes to mind. If you can make it sound realistic, you can do it. So there really are no limits. So up next for me, I'm actually always working a book or two ahead of what's published. So while my 11th book in the other world, Waking the Witch, doesn't come out till August, I'm actually done the 12th 12th one and starting to plot the 13th 